everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I have a junk journal page surprise for you today. It's going to be fun. It's a folded fold out that uh, you can put in any junk journal or even a card. And when you open it, it opens up, ooh, if you don't hold it wrong, <laughs> to this. So it's really fun. You can close it. It closes down upon itself and it's just really fun to make and I will show you how to make it. Now I did add a, a couple of little tuck spots inside because of course we are junk journal people and we love pockets and tucks. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. This one is um, five by five. We're gonna make a little bit smaller one for you. So get you a sheet of paper and let's get going. Let me show you once again how it opens. You just pull this open and it opens up like that. Now you could put just a blank page here if you didn't want a decorative page for journaling in here also. I wouldn't make it too thick, but I did put a little belly band on this side and a little kind of a flat pocket on that side. When you go to close it, it's going to close in on itself just like that. Very cool, right? All right, so we're gonna make one. It's really easy. I'm just gonna grab a sheet of cardstock and I'm gonna cut it to eight by eight. So we're gonna go with a four by four instead of a five by five. Basically a surprise. So we're gonna cut this eight by eight. And we're gonna use the rest of this also. So we're gonna do eight by eight. You'll love this. This is really, really fun. All right, I'm gonna set my trimmer to the side because we're probably gonna be using it to cut a little bit. But if you look here, this is our base. I'm gonna use this side to be the inside. So I'm gonna fold it in half. And you can score it if you want to, but I think it works just fine like this. And then fold it, turn it, and fold it in half again. Thought you would like this a lot all right then you're going to turn it to a diamond and you're going to fold the corner to the corner and fold it in half again you only have to do that once you don't do it on the other side all right so then open it this way and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this backwards and on itself this diagonal and then when you fold it down, if you got all your folds in place, then you end up with this. So you may want to take your scissors, bone folder, and just give it good crisp folds. And so when it opens up, it opens up like this, folds down like that. So now we need two four by four sheets. So I'm gonna cut those real quick. All right, now I have two four by four sheets. One is gonna be glued to the bottom portion of this triangle. So I'm just gonna add the glue that I need in now, like this. And then when I lay my piece of four by four square on here, I lay it straight on as if it's just gonna cover this whole square here. So you can see when it folds in, it's gonna fold just like that. And when it opens up, you see how it's gonna do? Now on this one, we need the top portion to be glued down. So I'm gonna put this in just like I would if it was going to be straight up and down, because it really is. So this one is gonna glue right here. Now you don't want to over glue because you don't want to glue your surprise open. So this is really fun to do. And as you can see, it's going to close in on itself just like that. Now what I want to do, because I like to vintageize or make it look vintage, I like to go around the edges and you could do this before or after. Now my thought is this is for a junk journal. For instance, if I wanted to put it in, say, this junk journal, which it doesn't really go with it, but just, just say, put it on here, and then when it opens up, I've got all these surprises in here. 
for my um, whoever's writing in it or storing, well, lovingly embellishing it. So the back portion will be glued down, at least in my thought. So for this one, then we would go, we would open it up. Now I like adding the tuck spots. So I wanna add a little tuck spot here that would be four by four and about, let's do for that space, about an inch and a half. And we need it to be four by four. And I'm using this paper from this thing. Um, page, I think I'm gonna go for three and three quarters just to give it a little room. Now I'm not making this have any um, sides. I'm just gonna glue it straight down because I don't wanna add too much thickness to it. So we'll just put a little glue here and a little glue here. And this is just a belly band that we're gonna just put right here. I'm gonna let that stick. Now this one, I added a little interest here with um, a circle, like a medallion, but you don't have to do that. You could, but you don't have to. And then up here, I wanted to put a pocket. So let's make a small pocket. And again, I don't wanna add a bunch of width, width or thickness to it. So I mean, this. So I just cut a sheet that's about two and a half or so by three and three quarters. And I could do four, but that just um, makes it go right up to that edge and I don't really need it to. So then we're going to just put this here and let this set. Now, another thing too, um, you can incorporate any sort of stickers that you want to, any um, additional decorations or anything that you want to do. But then when you close it up, it's going to close like this. And there you go. So we just need a little decoration on here, a little embellishment, and you have a really cute piece to add to your junk journal that says surprise. So if I put it right here, when I open it up, it's just gonna open like that and then close back down on itself. So you could put a little note open here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cute little surprise for your junk journal and that you will give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.